today we're going to be uh, making paper sculptures. You need to get from your art kit a black uh, 18 by 12 cardboard, card stock, and the little package with uh, three bright printer color papers that are all um, stable together. You need glue and scissors. The sculpture is a three-dimensional art. It takes up space and it's not flat like a drawing. You're gonna you're going to fold, twist, curl, loop, roll, and cut stripes of paper to create your own sculpture. In this process, make sure you're gonna make feet on your paper stripes so you have place to put your glue on. And let's begin by folding the paper to give you a guide where to cut your uh, first stripe. You don't have to fold the paper, you can use a ruler if you have one, but if you wanna keep it straight as possible, I recommend you folding your paper. And make sure you cut your paper on the longest side of the paper. Choose any color you want and cut out a stripe. So here you see, if I put it flat in the paper, you have a b-dimensional shape but by pushing it together, I create a loop that I can place in different uh, shapes. I can loop it like a curl. I can make a bridge. And the idea is to give it volume. So now my, my shape is going to have height, depth, and width. And that makes it tr three-dimensional. So I will fold the two little feet that I mentioned before. That's where I place the glue. This is the, fir the first shape and the easy, easiest shape we're going to work on. Now, put this piece aside um, and let's cut another stripe. With the same stripe, it doesn't matter how uh, thick you make your stripes, just try to keep them not too thin. Uh, and always remember to trim your paper from the longest side the longest uh, margin of your paper, that way your stripes are long. Uh, do not cut your paper in the middle of the paper. Always uh, take out, we're going to be taking out from the sides, from the edge. Uh, I start by making my, my two feet, well, sorry, my feet, and now I'm going to use a, a zigzag line. So I'm just going to stop, uh, start by folding it in half, and with my fingers in, in this motion, I'm going to fold a zigzag line. It's almost like if I am a cockadrile and I'm taking another bite, pinching with my fingers. You can make your zigzag as tight uh, or loose as you want. You can also divide it in, in, in the sides and keep the middle straight. You can change these shapes as much as you want. The next stripe you're gonna do, I do advise you to make it a couple inches uh, thick because we're going to be folding it in half. This one is pretty fun and it's called tabs. So go ahead and prepare your stripe. Okay, now you're going to put your stripe flat on the table and you're going to fold it in half just the way you see it right here. You're going to come up with a super long uh, rectangle and in one of the sides of your uh, stripe of your fold, you're just gonna cut little squares all the way to the fold. They don't they don't have to measure the same uh, width, but try to be try to look for a square. If they look too long to separate to uneven, it's gonna look kind of funky, but it doesn't matter really. And once you place your your you made all your cuts, you're gonna alternate and fold one to the uh, top, one to the bottom all the way until the end of your stripe and that's why we call it the taps. Now I'm going to cut another stripe, this time I rotate my paper and I'm cutting it on the shorter uh, edge so I have more like a rectangle, not a stripe 
and I'm gonna make a cylinder and I am also gonna make caps as a feet so I can glue it on my on, on my background so I folded a, a stripe but I didn't fold it in half I just folded it at the uh, at one of the ends I cut the tabs and then I'm gonna glue it together and I'm gonna shape it as a cylinder so that's another shape you can do Just apply glue in one of the edge of your uh, edges of your cylinder uh, secure it and there you go you have a cylinder that you can glue on to your sculpture when you have all your pieces ready okay I'm gonna do another uh, version of the stripe uh, zigzag line here but I'm using more of the instead of a stripe a rectangle to show you uh, you know like how much it changes depending on how tight your folds are and the width of the stripe and the length of the stripe so this one will look completely different to the skinny stripe that we zigzag before and I will still have to make the legs uh, sorry the feet to be able to glue it so you decide how many times you fold your papers and you know how how much you want to change up the samples I'm giving you now um, the next one I need you to cut a square so go ahead and, and cut a big fat rectangle and then just divide it into two parts to make a square and this one is going to be the cone so just uh, go with your scissors around cutting off the, the edges of the square and this is how you create a circle it doesn't have to be a perfect circle you don't need to measure it just give it a little cut in the middle only to the center of the circle and glue it together uh, and you have a cone and since you already have another square go ahead and repeat the step cut around make a round movement round cut uh, to get 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 rid of the corners and now I'm gonna show you how to make the spiral so begin by uh, cutting from the edge of your circle and with this round movement go like a labyrinth in inwards the circle towards the center of your circle now we're creating a spiral this one takes a little practice it doesn't have to be always uh, round you can make it following a triangle or following a square and instead of gluing feet you're just gonna have to glue the center and the end of your spiral okay for the next shape you also are gonna need a, a stripe I rather you make it uh, thicker not too thin but it will work either way we're gonna make fringe fringes I believe is the plural so you can either make a fringe um, with curling or with zigzag line I will make both for you to see so the first thing that you're gonna do is cut uh, make your feet along one of the edge of your uh, stripe and then cut tiny little hairs or fringes they don't have to be perfect just don't make them too thin or they will rip kind of easy if it rips just divide your piece in half so um, for this step you can use your glue or it's better if you grab a pencil or a crayon and you're gonna roll your stripes in your uh, pencil or your crayon you're just gonna roll the entire paper in and that's just gonna uh, form curls all over your shape and the more you secure them the more uh, um, emphasis you're gonna have in those curls so yep it's tricky and easy but you can do it 
and it looks so much fun when you're done with it. So that's the curl fringe and later I'll show you how to make the zigzag one. Now the se second uh, way to make your fringe is with zigzag lines and in this part the first thing that you will do is make your feet or a foot in this case because you only want to glue it in one side and then just create your uh, folds make it as tight as you want and you're gonna cut on those folds it, the paper has been folded many times so be careful with your scissors and don't cut too close to the fold and that's a zigzag fringe. Again, you can make them as wide or thin, as long or small as you want. They will all look good. And just a quick reminder, these videos, you can work on them at your own pace. So please stop, pause, review, work, uh, take your time. I do them quick just so we don't make the video too long but you have plenty of time to work on your own pace now I want to show you how you can make your shapes smaller with the smaller space uh, that you have now in your paper your stripes are gonna be shorter it doesn't mean your shapes are gonna be less cool so make them uh, with the leftover paper make sure you repeat the steps so you have thicker lines and thinner lines, big cones, smaller cones, until you used up all your, all your paper. So I'm gonna spin up this process, I'm gonna make more shapes to have a very fun um, sculpture at the end. Okay, now it's time for just gluing our shapes and up here it's, uh, it's your call where to place them. I like overlapping my shapes um, so you get to see how I start assembling and just run just choose randomly and see what works for you have fun with it I hope you enjoyed making your pa paper sculpture is one of m our most successful uh, projects of this school year all the uh, other two cycles really really enjoyed this one it's really fun uh, there's of course many other shapes that you can create with paper but these are the most uh, popular ones and I find them the most fun so I can't wait to see your projects and I hope to see you on the Zoom class make sure um, you already prep up some of your paper so uh, we can have fun showing off our projects see you next week <laughs>